Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to work on number 17 on the General Curriculum 03 practice test. This is for elementary and special education teachers preparing to get their licensure for uh, teaching in the state of Massachusetts. It's also a really good test if you're taking the other MTEL math exams. So, um, a really good question. So let's look at number 17. Quick glance, I notice this right here. Now, maybe some of you uh, have seen this before, maybe some of you haven't. This is a type of multiplication called the lattice multiplication method. And uh, it's really easy to do once you figure out how to make sense of it. So that's my quick glance. If I know how to solve it, it's going to be easy. If I've never seen it before, keep on watching. And then I read the problem. The diagram above demonstrates the lattice multiplication algorithm. Um, pardon me, how the lattice multiplication algorithm is used to multiply 231 by 25 to get the product 5,775. What value does the circle digit represent? And then it has these values here. And the circle one is one. It's a cool problem. In the problem itself, it has some vocabulary that you got to know. You want to know what lattice multiplication is, and we'll talk about that. It has this fancy smancy word called algorithm, and then also has a product, and then it has a digit and represent. And guess what else it has? Value. And what did we say in one of our earlier videos? These words, value, digit, represent, have to do with what key concept? Place value. So when you see value, digit, and represent, you should right away be thinking, hey, Somewhere in this problem, it involves place value. But anyways, we'll get to that in a few seconds. Let's go back to some of these other words. Algorithm. Now, what I'm doing with this problem right now is I'm pulling it apart, pulling out the pieces. This is how you have to study, and you go back and you solve it. But you always want to look at these problems, pull out the vocabulary words so you understand them. That way, if you have to go back, you, uh, you know all the parts to that. So the word algorithm, it's a fancy smancy way of saying a way of doing something. For example, this is an algorithm for multiplication. This is another algorithm for multiplication. There are two different ways of getting to the product of six. It's just a way of following a certain set of rules in order to get to a certain result. And you follow the same rules in order to keep everything uh, um, smooth and even. So think of instead of uh, algorithm, you can you can substitute way, a way of doing something. So the diagram above demonstrates how the lattice multiplication way of multiplying, you know, you know, and you can go from there. All right. So don't get don't get intimidated by that word. Now lattice multiplication is. Uh, is going to get us the same answer if we were to take 231 and multiply it by 25. If we did all the multiplication out, we get a product. That's the answer that results from multiplying 231 and 25 together of 5,775. Now let's pick out the pieces. In this problem, the 231 is represented on the top. And the 25 is represented on the bottom. And the product, isn't the product right here? Isn't it right here? 5,775. Now, the way you want to read this is the 5 here is our 1s. This column here is our 10s. This is our 100s. And this is our thousands. And anything in these columns, in these rows, fit into those categories. So, if we just start with this first one, in uh, this digit here, 5, represents 5 ones. So this also represents 5 ones. This digit 2 here represents 2 tens, and this is 5 tens. 2 tens plus 5 tens equals 7 tens, or 70, right? This 4 here represents 4,000. 
and this is 1,000. So 4,000 plus 1,000 is 5,000. And guess what? This one digit here is in the hundreds column. It represents 100 plus 600 equals 700. If you add all those parts together, you get 5,775. So now if we go back, knowing that this is the one, the tens, hundreds, and thousands, what is the place value of the one digit here? Well, it represents one one hundred. The answer is C. Okay, team, I hope you found this helpful. Check out one of the Harvard Square MTIL Math workshops. Go to, Go Math, go to the Go Math website. Sign up for tuning if tutoring if you need some help on these math MTELs or other exams. Stay cool. Have a great day. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.